Welcome to Axai Video Support Training. In this video, we will instruct you how to upgrade your robot from the current version to the latest version 7.3. So, most of you already know the robot upgradation process through the release node of each version, which publics when the new version is released. And in this video, we will provide some information that's not described in the release note that you can, can help you to keep your local more safety after the operation. As in this case, I have a local software version 7.2 and I will operate it to version, the latest version 7.3. So the first thing before operate local, we need to take the config backup of the local and you can take it from the web UI here, advanced configuration configuration backup okay, like you can see in the configuration backup I have choose the method to use CP and copy and the remote directory where the config backup file locate is under the installation part of the and when I click uh, save it will start to take the configuration backup for the current version and if we check in the Installation part of the local, the OPXI current, OPXI, local TMP config. You will see there's a config backup file that's generated, and you can use this config backup in order to restore the local if the operation fail or in case that you need to reinstall the local. And in the next operation we will need first stop on the local service but I first thing I will need to check if the installation file has exist here or not okay in here I have a installation file of the local 7.3 I will operate local from the current version to version 7.3 using this file before operate the local uh, we need to check the rest version also in this case, the version of this server is Red Hat Enterprise 8.6. When you operate your worker from uh, current version to higher version in a Red Hat Enterprise Server 8.x, you will need to make sure that some packet exists here, such as the first packet is libnsl. And you can verify this with this command. The second package is compact open SL. The third package is Anchor's compact library. Okay, if there is any package that did not exist, you need to install this first, then you can start to operate the local. Uh, okay, in order to operate the local, most of the condition is met requirement now, and we can start to operate now, but I will do one more step to make another backup for the connector for this local. The first thing is I will need to stop the local service first. In order to make sure that all of the service and stop, I will enter locally quit to make sure that all of them has been quit and none of the service still running under the background. And I will verify again using this command to make sure that there no service is running with the Axar user. Okay. In this way, we can start with operation now, but I will do for one more backup for this. 
I will make a copy of the pgsql folder and mysql folder with two databases of the local that we can use them in order uh, to restore the local back to the previous version if the, our, our operation fail. I will copy the content of this to the part that I made for I'll check and there's a MNT and backup folder. I have a copy of two database here. We can use them to recover the local to the previous version in case that your operation fail. Well, okay, now all of the prerequisites has done. I will start to operate my local use. Here we will enter the installation part of the current local I install this under OPDX side, so I will type that part here. If you choose the right path, it will display a message where it's asking you want to operate or not. Because I want to operate, so I choose option 2. Okay, you can see the installation phase is done and it starts with the initialization and this will take a little bit of time till it's finished. Okay, you can see now the local has been complete with the initialization phase and let's go to the operating jar locker in case that you want to track the process of the operate local operation then you can find it under the PR the local underscore init underscore driver dot log and we can use this command to monitor the operation process. Like you can see, it's starting to operate the bus already for the event source. So this means your operation is still going well and it will be finished soon. Okay, you can see now the write is complete and the local has started. We are now we can be able to access the local using uh, this current UI. I will check to see if the local process is running well or not. Okay, when we go to the OptiArc side part, you will see a folder name L8372. This is the peer number of the previous version 7.2. Uh, please do not delete this folder and keep, but keep it uh, exist here because in case that you want to 
restore your locker to the previous version if the current version 7.2 of 7.3 is not working as expected this is a important folder that can help you to restore your locker i will to check the service the locker to see if it's working fine or not okay all of the local service running now I will set to the web UI. Okay, now you can see my router has been upgraded to version 7.3 as expected with a new version here. Okay, so this is how we upgrade our uh, locker from the current version to the latest version 7.3. In the next video, we will instruct you how to recover your locker from the current version to the previous version. In the in case the upgrade version fail or the current version is not working as expected. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions feel free to let us know by comment on this video